In this video, we're going to solve the Stackelberg oligopoly model by using only algebra. The Stackelberg oligopoly market has the following inverse market demand. Price equals 20 minus 1 half Q. Where Q, the market output, is comprised of firm 1's output plus firm 2's output, where the subscript represents the firm. So making a substitution in for Q, we're going to write firm 1's output plus firm 2's output in parentheses. And just distributing this minus 1 half. Let's say that the marginal cost of each firm is constant at $2. So identical cost structures between the firms. Firm 1 is going to be the Stackelberg leader. It's going to set its output level before Firm 2. When Firm 1 sets its output level, it's going to consider how Firm 2 responds to its output. So we're going to need Firm 2's reaction function. And Firm 2's reaction function is given as follows. I'll have a link up here given to another video that shows how to derive this reaction function for Firm 2. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this reaction function and we're going to plug it into the inverse demand right over here. So where I have Q subscript 2, I'm now plugging in firm 2's reaction function. And we're just going to simplify this. So minus 1 half times 18 is minus 9. Minus 1 half times minus 1 half Q subscript 1 is where this plus 1 fourth Q subscript 1 is coming from. Simplifying a little further, 20 minus 9 is 11, and then minus 1 half Q subscript 1 plus 1 fourth Q subscript 1 just leaves us with minus 1 fourth Q subscript 1. Okay, rewriting the last result. So now we want to get the marginal revenue for firm 1, and the marginal revenue for firm 1 equals its inverse demand right here with a slope that is twice as steep. So we're going to multiply what's in front of the Q subscript 1 term by 2. So 2 times 1 fourth is going to be 1 half. So the marginal revenue, again, is just a price equation. Same vertical intercept, but with a slope that is twice as steep. So 2 times 1 fourth is where this 1 half is coming from. Now we're going to just do regular profit maximization, setting marginal revenue for firm 1 equal to marginal cost. We said the marginal cost for firm 1 was $2. So taking this equation and solving for firm 1's output. So 11 minus 2 gives us 9. And then just moving this minus 1 half Q subscript 1 over to the other side, we get this result. And then multiplying through by 2, 2 times 9 Firm 1 will produce 18 units of output. As for Firm 2, we take Firm 2's reaction function, which was given on the first slide, and we're going to plug in 18 into it. And we'll see that Firm 2 will produce 18 minus 9, or 9 units of output. To get the price in this market, take our original inverse market demand, and substitute in 18 and 9 for firm 1 and firm 2's output. And the market price will be $6.50 per unit. All right, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.